there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw my Draw So Cute lamb. So let's get started. With this little lamb, we're going to first start by drawing the soft curly wool on top of her head. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a curve. So this is for the center. And we're going to come over here and draw another curve. So we're going to come down to this side and then another one. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So, one, and just kind of make sure you kind of end at the same spot on the other side, same level. So just give yourself a point and another curve. And so then from there, we're going to draw the face. So from here, I'm going to draw a little curve. And same thing on this side. And I'm going to connect it with a wide curve. So this is just my usual wide uh, <laughs> draw so cute faces that I put with the animals. So I'm just going to keep going and connect it. There. So the bigger the curves, the harder. So just take it step by step and connect it. So there, we've got the um, face in. So then let's come up right here. We're going to come to the side and we're going to draw a curve. It comes down, tapers into the face. So let's do that same thing on the other side. All right here. Give yourself a point and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then from there, let's come to the center. So we're going to come up here and this is where all her wool is. And so we're going to come up right here in the center and we draw one big curve. And so this is just to make it easier so that I can um, gauge how much, how many curves I need to put on each side. It just makes it easier. So we're going to come over here now that we have the center and we're going to draw another curve and another one. You can draw as many or as little as you want, but the idea is to just make it look nice and soft and poofy. So then I'm going to connect another one right here. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So if you wanted it to be even, just come over, give yourself these points approximately where you would be drawing your curves. So let's say about right there. So I'm going to come over here, another curve, matching the other side, and one more. So about right there. So that's the shape we're aiming for. <laughs> Looks kind of weird right now, I know. <laughs> so then from there, let's come out here and we're going to pop out a little ear. So in this little area right here, we're going to draw a curve. And so this ear kind of slants down a little bit just to make it cuter. We're going to come down. So it's kind of like drawing a leaf almost, but we're going to round it off at the bottom and then come back in. And so then for the inside, just come here, follow the outside curve, and then come towards the bottom and taper it in. So I was going to do the same thing for the other side. So it's about right here. Just give yourself some points and your ear ends about right there. It's not going to be perfect, but we just kind of want it at the same spot. So we're going to draw a curve about right there. Hope it's not too lopsided. <laughs> and then we're going to come back in. So we, that's where we went in. So we're going to come back in right there. So as long as it's not too off, it's totally fine. So then we're going to come back in here once again and draw that curve and then bring it in for the inside of the ear. So there, we got our head in. So let's come up right here in the center and we're gonna draw a circle. So this is just for the little bow, it's optional. If you definitely wanna make your lamb a girl. <laughs> so draw a circle right there. I'm just gonna pop out a very simple bow. So it's just a big curve on both sides. And then come in here and just draw a little oval in the center. 
and so now let's bring this little lamb to life so towards the bottom right here towards the edge and the bottom we're gonna draw a circle so let's go to the other side once again give yourself a point just so your eyes are about the same size and you know it's towards the edge so it's just gonna come over here towards the edge and draw a circle and so we got the two circles in and let's make them draw so cute eyes so two small circles at a high <laughs> at an angle and then the curve line at the bottom and shade in the top so I'm giving these this lamb here very big eyes to make it extra cute and the lines at the bottom so another one right here so two small circles at an angle curve line at the bottom once again shade in the top so hopefully you guys have been loving all the draw so cute animals that I've done so far I have a playlist so you can check it out there's pandas there's penguins <laughs> pigs they're all there and I'm gonna keep building up my uh, my list of animals so finally I'm adding a lamb so here lines at the bottom and so for this lamb we're gonna give her some really long lashes so we're gonna come towards the edge right here and I'm gonna draw a nice curve out another one and one more so just make them nice and curvy <laughs> and you can come in here and thicken them up I just thought that it was necessary to give this lamb nice long curvy lashes so we're gonna do the same thing here two and three so once again just come in and thicken it up There, we got our lashes in, and so then come up here. We're just going to draw a little curve for the eyebrow just to anchor the eyes, and then now finding the little cute nose. So, right in the center here, it's going to be kind of like a flattened out um, heart. So, we're just going to come to the center right here. So, it's like a flattened heart, and draw a little nose. And then you can shade it in if you want it. Or you can leave it so you can make it pink. So I might make this little nose pink later. I just wanted to show you. So it looks like a little flattened um, heart. And then right here, I couldn't resist the cute little smile and cap it off. So there. And then now let's draw the body. So for the body, it's a sim very simple. I'm making this very simple. So I'm going to come here and draw two angle lines with the center right there and so then from there I know I have this uh, oval that I need to draw for the foot so I'm going to come bring this down a little bit more and right here I'm going to be drawing an oval so I'm really simplifying this lamb drawing just to make it easier and much cuter is sitting down <laughs> and so we're going to do the same thing on the other side big old oval for the foot and then you can connect it right here at the bottom and so we got the foot in now let's draw the hands so the hands are just nicely at the side so we're gonna come out here and draw a curve and bring it in same thing over here curve and bring it in hopefully I'm not going too fast if I am just pause the video and then um, so then finally let's draw the collar right here I'm giving this little lamb a bell <laughs> so right here I'm gonna under the chin right here I'm gonna draw another curve that follows the chin so right there we're gonna have to fix that one down a little bit too low and then come here in the center we're just gonna draw a little curve where the little bell hangs and we're gonna draw a bell so it's just a curve 
curve it out and then connect it with a curve and right here at the bottom a nice little bell <laughs> and a heart inside because I couldn't resist so there so now you know that our lamb is loved <laughs> so then we're gonna come in here and draw a curve for the belly part and then um, that's our little cute little lamb and so I couldn't resist again <laughs> to put our lamb outside so I'm just gonna come over here on the edges if you want it just to draw some grass so it's just some zigzags and if you've been following me you know every time I'm outside <laughs> I love to draw dandelions so just had to pop in some dandelions right here and I just wanted to draw some that are floating up so let's say about right here draw a curve and just have some of these little dandelions lions floating around and at the bottom just make it thicker for the seed part so maybe another one right here and thicken the end and one more you go crazy drawing dandelions all day <laughs> and last one so at the bottom so there, my Jossa cute lamb, and I hope you think it's really adorable and that it will inspire you, to, uh, inspire you to draw one yourself. So thanks so much for watching, and if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jossa cute videos. See you later.